The environment cannot speak for itself. It needs you and I to stand up and say something about the indiscriminate way people throw rubbish out of cars, on the streets and in waterways, without even a second thought. As part of World Environment Day celebrations, our children made their stance known when they marched through the streets of Suva yesterday. Their future lies in our hands. How we manage our waste will determine the kind of environment they will inherit from us. When we talk about environment concerns, don't just take our word for it. Hear what our kids from Pacific Harbor Multicultural School have to say about the state of our environment. So World Ocean Day is a special celebration just for the ocean to remind the public about the ocean is dying and we need to help do something to help the ocean. It is the day to celebrate the oceans and the way to learn about the ocean and why it is important. More than 50 kilometers away from Suva, children from Pacific Harbor Multicultural School celebrated World Oceans Day at Nanuku Resort. They took part in a range of activities to mark the event. So what they've done right now is to pick up rubbish and do a little posters to, do, to celebrate World Oceans Day. On the other side of the Suva Peninsula, the founder of the Pacific Recycling Foundation, Amitesh Deo, one of Fiji's leading environment advocates, said cleanup campaigns were sending out the wrong message. We believe that cleanup campaigns should not be part of our, our walking space if everybody knew how to deal with their rubbish. So we're giving a very wrong message that it's okay to throw your rubbish because somebody will come along, again, trying to tick a sustainability box or feel good box in a, a corporate organization that we're doing something meaningful. Uh, at the core of our, our belief, our fundamental belief for the organization is that cleanup campaigns should phase out yes. from our life and we should practice better waste management uh, uh, implementations and strategies. He says what Fiji needs is a complete change of behavior and a change in the way that we think about how we handle our rubbish. There are several things that has to be done. Uh, one of the key thing is that we have to have uh, training programs. We have to sort of change our behavior. Right. And so everything that we do in our, with our Im implementation, it's not actually a bin. It's not actually, you know, it's actually recognizing that the waste is not the problem. Right. The environment is not the problem, it's the people that are the problem. So right. we have to tap into the space of people and how do we change the behavior? Right. Because like we said yesterday at, at another session, is the mm. PET bottle did not choose to end up at the drain. Yes. Somebody made the deliberate decision of you know throwing, throwing it, there. it there. So how do we influence behavior change? Because unless we have that, mm. and that could be through civic pride discussions, could be through policy implementations, right. government agencies taking a different approach, could be ensuring structures and mechanisms are in place right. that we actually, people know what to do and yes. there is a structure that, you know, fits into that equation. Deo says the environment cannot speak for itself and needs us to be its voice. And because the environment cannot speak for itself, the ocean cannot speak for itself, we can have the impact of what we're doing, our abuse of the environment, we can right. see from severe you know, weather patterns and all that. 
But this year, what we're saying for people to line up in solidarity for the environment yes. and for the ocean and stand with the message, with the message on the play card. And, and for one hour, we'll line up from 8, eight o'clock to 9 a.m. here from Cornivia uh, roundabout yes. to Nasori Bridge and where people can come with their personal message, anything they want to write about why or what they will do to make sure that uh, you know they stand up for the environment or the ocean. Uh, and that will go for one hour, so that, that campaign uh, uh, is that. And then after that, we have a, a safe space where we will all gather straight after the campaign and where people can talk about right. why they're doing this, what are the messages, they can be through a form of art, poem reading, dancing, song, religious songs, and all okay. of that can be part of it. So we really urge everybody in the community to participate, uh, yes. religious leaders, um, you know, community leaders, uh, individuals out there, but especially um, parents listening, if they can bring their, their children with them, right. schools, if they can participate, because we want to teach our children how to lobby, how to advocate, yes. and how to stand up and how to speak out basically yes. uh, against uh, you know uh, abuse that we're doing for towards the environment and the ocean so the whole idea is around that to stand up uh, in solidarity for the environment and the ocean and and become one voice and i think it's something that we're going to do here in fiji probably that hopefully others can follow uh, and that that advocacy can take place after